Yo, what is going on? My name is Sweet Film. Today, right here, I'm showing you a budget version of this Lightning Strike Amazon here. And I'm showing you a couple different weapon variations because a lot of people probably want to try out the new Spearazon. You see right here, I got a spear. Um, so just so it's different than the original Javelins with a shield. So I'm going to show you this version. All the gear is going to stay the same. But I'm just going to swap over to then from the, from the spear type to the javelins and a shield. Because actually the javelin and shield budget version is easier to make because you get safety from the shield uh, stats and ability attributes on the shield. And you also get the stuff from the javelins because most of this damage does not necessarily even come from the weapon. It comes from the lightning damage. Now this is the budget version. The godly version absolute wrecks players 8 difficulty. It's kind of crazy. It's right up there with the Lightning Fury Javazan, probably in my opinion. But um, this is a budget version of this, and it still works pretty darn good. I'm online in the PTR, so I'm only going to be using items that I have access to here on the PTR, but also budget items. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into looking at this, and we'll look just look at the attributes real quick. Super simple. Strength and dex to wear your gear, and the rest and the vitality. Pretty normal. Resistances are not good though so you got to watch out for that if you are online you could do like the anya quests on ptr the anya quest is bugged where you don't get those resistances so that'd get bumped up a little bit torch nanny i don't have any of that and there's uh, you could definitely get res charms or even resistance boots i don't have any resistance boots because they don't give you any rare stuff here resistance rings don't have any of those either so it's all stuff that you could get to get your resistances better um you could go with a different item a few different items that i can talk about when we get into those items to get your resistances up better because this is not particularly good but even with this set when i get into the gameplay you're going to see how this rocks all right here we are over on the left side so i'm not in the way hopefully uh javelin spear skills is where almost all the points are going to be going so we'll go ahead and talk about it here um you got to come down one into jab jab is what you use if you come across individual lightning immunes that you want to take out a lot of times i'll just skip lightning immunes i guess it depends on on what you feel like doing but you can uh, jab to take out any lightning immunes you want to and straight down the middle here these are all maxed power strike charge strike and lightning strike lightning strike you use on the giant herds of stuff and when you get down to individual stuff just like you would with the lightning fury job is on you go ahead and you put charge strike now uh this point into lightning fury down here you don't have to do that i did that just for testing purposes so you can save that point there if you want to but um up here i maxed out lightning bolt is a synergy lightning or power strike and charge strike are all synergies for lightning strike so that's why those are all maxed out there but these are the two ones you use charge strike still great for boss killers super super fast and lightning strike is absolutely amazing for those big packs because it gets 11 percent damage boost from each one of those skills so when you look at it compared to uh, lightning fury it just gets one percent from everything this gets 11 but obviously the damage scaling on the actual skill is going to change a bit different to, you can't really compare those one to apples to apples but um, when you come over to passive magic, I just went one uh, crit strike for when you are hitting stuff if you want to get that double damage. And down to penetrate right here for increasing your attack rating. You don't throw anything, so you don't need to worry about pierce. You can skip it. Um, over here, you go one on inner sight, one on slow missile, and one on decoy. And then one on dodge, avoid, and evade to get those down to Valkyrie. Um, if you want to, you could put those into here, into evade if you want to. Or you can take another option. This is just what I went, went to do. After you max out the ones on the uh, javelin tree, you can do whatever you want. But I decided to go with Valkyrie. Bow and crossbows, absolutely nothing over here on this one. Now the interesting part that everybody loves looking at, and that's the gear. And with this one, I'm going with the spear version here first off. So I have, this is just like Candor's Flank, super mega cheap budget. Um, if you wanted other good budget options, you could get yourself just an insight, uh, pole arm or spear, that, or you can't do it in a spear, that's infinity, excuse me, but a uh, pole arm that had uh, insight in it would be perfectly great. Some sort of obedience can be made in spears and pole axes as before but now you can make obedience and spears so you could make a obedience one that has jav javelin skills such as a ceremonial pike or the matriarchal pike a bunch of different options obviously for the gg godly version of this character you put infinity into a uh 
Amazon pole arm of some sort or just any type of pole arm or spear and Amazon spear excuse me they're not Amazon pole arms but now this is kind of sort of budget Shaco it's Shacos are not that expensive if you can never in an entire ladder if you can't get a Shaco I'm sorry but at some point during ladder you should be able to get yourself a Shaco if not peasant's crown up here I mean Crown of Ages is even more expensive and rare than a Shaco, so Crown of Ages would help with your res and damage reduction, all skills, stuff like that. Um, or just beyond that, the next best thing, if you get, like I said, a Peasant's Crown or a, uh, I don't know, if you throw an Andaros Visage up here, a Vam Case, whatever you find up there. Now this one, it's a little bit deceiving. I'll explain it to you. I have a Mara's, but like I said, the Anya quest is bugged here in Diablo 2 Resurrected, so the 21 all res, that print should essentially replacing the all res you'd get from the Ani quest anyways so essentially all this is is a two to amazon skills blue amulet so take that into consideration when you look at this amaras can be hard to get and kind of expensive but just think of it that way essentially there's only so many options on ptr you know i couldn't go crafter amulet because they don't give you all the junk jewels you need essentially and stuff like that so here's what i got down here, I decided to go with Treachery, even though the two to Assassin skills, what does that do for you? But 45 increase attack speed, a mega boost to attack speed, a bunch of hit recovery, and you have a chance to get that fade. When that fade procs, it helps you out so much, but um, it does take a while, and the survivability isn't crazy on this, that to where you almost, uh, it takes a long time to get that fade to proc. Over on boots, a ton of options. Like I said, I would love to get some boots with resistances over to help that out, but... Here on the PTR, like I said, Sandstorm Treks are not that expensive, not that hard to find. Alder's Boots would be a good option here as well. And really, I would want to go with the best rare boots I could that had resistances on them. T-Gods is pretty cheap over on this one right here. A bunch of other different type of budget options you go with as well. But getting the all skills on this and strength, vitality, all that kind of stuff. Mega, mega awesome. Laying of Hands. I went with this just because to get increased attack speed. Does do damage to demons for when you're jabbing, I suppose. And you get the fire res. Rare gloves with increased attack speed and javelin skills. Obviously going to be the best. Or the blue three, 320s. But you can get 220s that are rare with a little bit of resistances on them or something, whatever. That's what I would prefer to go with right here. We got a bulk cathos ring so I can get the one to all skills. BK rings are semi-budget down there. If you could get rare rings... Uh, with resistances and life leech and stuff like that go with that but this is like semi-budget right there i guess some people might argue that's not but it's i decided not to go with an soj because those are so highly sought after that they're incredibly valuable and hard to get especially early on raven frost you can usually get these at some point not hard that way you get cannot be frozen you get some decks cold absorbs on there obviously so um so that's that right there and I'm also going to show you here the, if you're going with the Javelin version, I'll show you that to you right here. And this one actually works better, and I'm going to show you it here in a second. And that's T-Strokes. T-Strokes are not incredibly uh, expensive, just generic, uh, you know, non-ethereal type T-Strokes. Or uh, ethereal T-Strokes are garbage, actually, excuse me, because they don't replenish quantity like Titans. But these are actually better than Titans, in my opinion, because they have the 15% increased attack speed there. Um, they do have minus 15 to enemy lightning damage or enemy lightning resistance as well. And it still has four to javelin spear skills, even though Titans has the two and two, but this one has just four to the javelin and spear skills. It does also have a level 14 lightning on striking. So that is also interesting thing to add there over here. I I'm trying it with the spirit. So I get two to all skills, it increases the damage a ton, not to mention 55% fast hit recovery. It's got those resistances, a bunch to mana. So that is a good option. And I also did it with a storm shield. I tried it with that as well, with that massive damage reduction to help out with the survivability. So we do want to take a look at the mercenary real quick as well. And it is a budget mercenary, but this time I decided to go different. I have the act one mercenary, the bow. So I decided to go up here and I got an insight bow. If you can't get a hydra, you could make an insight bow for a lower level uh, type of base. Um, you know pretty much anything you could find in also don't forget you can actually put them in the amazon bows now in the future patch so you can get extra skills that will increase like the damage of cold arrow for example or of freezing arrow body armor i went with another treachery here just for that massive 45 percent increased attack speed and i kind of went you know the kind of the, the generic go-to budget stuff up here uh then i got a talrasha's herodric crest um you get a little bit of life leech so when them hit she does leech back a little bit of life you get life and 
more importantly, that 15 to all res, it's good to get all resistance on your mercenary. When you get higher levels here, these resistances will go up, 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 and you could actually cap those out eventually at 75. I can't remember exactly what level you'd have to be, maybe like 90 or 91, and the resistances would be capped out with this on your uh, Act 1 mercenary. That's going to be hard for me to get used to saying, Act 1 mercenary. But we're going to go with this, uh, the spear one first. And this is just players one difficulty, you know, all the caveats is normal. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this goes right here. Now I want to go ahead and get power strike, charge strike, excuse me, right here. Let's walk out here, put out my Valkyrie. And look, this is right here with just these skills and just this stuff. When you come across the lightning immunes, you switch to jab. Lightning immunes do not go particularly fast, you see but you can deal with them with the jab so keep that in mind nothing crazy right there now for cows though i'm going to take off the spear and throw on the storm shield for the damage reduction because cows hit mega hard but we're going to try out the spear first and see if i just get wrecked without that damage reduction now remember we got no cta um you don't need to worry about resistances really in cows because they don't deal the elemental damage it's massive physical strikes now let's go ahead and zap these over here not as fast as the Lightning Fury job is on, that is for sure. But it is indeed working. Here I'm uh, charge striking this champion, and boom, the champion went on down. Dropped a uh, set Dusk Shroud. The charge strike on C on individual cows, you only got to hit them a couple of times. Let's go ahead and come over here and get another pack. We're poking, we're poking, we're poking away. Sounds like a good old, good old time. And it's definitely working. This is budget gear after all, but even even a budget Javazan on players one like this would just absolutely be melting all of this. And this is not melting it. But remember, I have no Griffins. I have no uh, Infinity on my Mercenary or anything. This is just using a Lake Lycander's Flank. Let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, T-Strokes. They do have minus enemy Lightning Res. So I believe these are going to work even better. Also, they will uh, they attack faster. This is a small pack. But yeah, that works way better. It might be even better if we round up. Oh boy, watch out for those guys. Well, let's go ahead and run down here. We got my uh, my Valkyrie taking some strikes there. Wow, yeah, look at that. Look at that pack meltage right there. These guys up here are kind of worrying me. Let me hurry up and take this guy out maybe. Yeah, look at that. That cow just getting wrecked right there. My mercenary is actually doing quite a bit of damage there. Cast that up here and hit him with the strikes. It attacks so much faster that, uh, yeah, that works. That's borderline as good as a uh, lightning, Fu a budget lightning fury job is on. It honestly is. Uh, maybe just a tad slower than a budget lightning fury job is on, but not much. Not much. There's one immune to lightning. Everything's taken out. Let's go ahead and jab away and see how this goes against him. Wow, that's a lot of damage that I'm taking because of the uh, lightning, the lightning enchant. But it is working on him. We're gonna go ahead and skip him though because that's uh, kind of outside of what I really wanna worry about in this video. How to deal with lightning music with a mega budget character. Not that this, this is a regular budget, we'll say not mega budget. Get out of there, mercenary. We wanna drop that down, drop the Valk down. The whole entire mercenary to get killed. Hit him, hit him with that shot. That, that lightning mew guy is back up here again. That is a big old pack. That lightning that lightning damage is really hurting. But look at that pack go down. We really need to get away from that. And I lost my uh, Insight Mercenary. So here can be a good example of perhaps how this build would go without an Insight. You do have Mana Leech, but yeah, the mana goes down way quick. So you definitely want to have that Insight uh, Mercenary on there. Get anything good on the video? Oh, no. Maybe we'll go with uh, one more large pack here, round them up, send the Valkyrie down. You worry about him, people, so you don't get attacked by too many. And wow, that whole pack just melted, which is pretty wild in my opinion. I think that works pretty good. This is players one cows. If you're going to do players eight cows, you're going to need like infinity would really set this build off. Let's go ahead and hop this to the Chaos Sanctuary. Everybody loves testing out of the Chaos Sanctuary. It's got a ton of different immunities. So I'm gonna take some time running up right here to get into the Chaos Sanctuary. Now right here's a good, good show of what it actually it does. These are lightning immunes right there. But when you get these packs, you can see the lightning arcing around the whole pack. 
when you get down to one, you use Charge Strike right there. I poked that one time. Any monster only gets one hit by Charge Strike. Charge Strike, just as it was before, does a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of damage. See, these ones are lightning immune, these ca storm casters, but you can see the lightning arcing around. That's where it gets a ton of its damage. So even though actually those uh, storm casters or whatever they are, are incredibly weak, so the, ch the, the jab actually does a lot to take it out. So here we are in the Chaos Sanctuary, and you can see the with my low, low, low resistances, the survivability is not crazy, but the kill speed is definitely there. It's, this is a budget build, remember that. This is not the GG godly end game. You're going to be doing better than a, you know, hammered in bot was on Diablo 2 back in the day. Once you get down to one here, boom, see that charge strike? This is a champion. D two hits on the champion right there. So it's absolutely crazy, the kill speed on this. And this is pretty budget stuff. Not the most budget in the world, but you can only go so low. I'll do one more um, pack here, and then I'm going to switch to the other uh, skill, or the other uh, weapon, and you'll see what I actually think. We'll switch to it right here. So it's the same skills and everything. I'm actually frozen right now, but... Kaboom. Look how much... It, it, it goes even faster, and look at the attack speed on that. The attack speed is so fast that it is actually significantly better whether you're using the jab against the lightning immunes, or whether you using this lightning strike here you go boom 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 it kills so much faster because you can get so many more of those lightnings arcing around arcing 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 you can switch over to uh jab if you want to but in my opinion it is just so much faster to use the t-strokes along with the shield than it is to use the uh, Lycander's Flank, but there are, like I said, a ton of other options you can go with. This is one you will struggle with slightly over here, because you do not have Infinity, you do not have anything to deal with these Lightning Immunes. So that's unfortunate. You would need to go ahead and switch to Jab and try to get right up in the middle here on Grand Vizier, and take him out without getting killed. So this is going to be a little bit of a struggle since they're all immune to Lightning, but I'm up in here just ripping it. I'm um, losing health, obviously, here, but there he goes. Let's grab the full rejuve and get out of here. We'll go ahead and head up to DeSace's group up here. But I really like this build with the uh, T-Strokes to get that minus enemy lightning res as a budget option here. Obviously, if you went crazy bananas rich and you're using the infinity on your character, that's going to be better, but... Not everybody can get Infinity right away. You're going to need to have options unless you're just going to go Lightning Fury Javas on until you can make Infinity and then, then go to this character. But not everybody wants to do that. Some people actually want to play through the game with their character that they want to play. And that's what this is for right here. Look at that. My goodness. Whew, baby. It is so, so quick. It's bananas. Now we'll head over to this pack over here. We'll hit these real quick, and you can see how fast, how much of the lightning is arcing around here. It is kind of crazy, to be honest. We'll go ahead and grab some potions, because when you have budget gear, you're going to need potions. It's just a fact of life. Arc, arc, arc. Boy. This this is mega cool. It's just it's a little bit different than the regular Javazan, and that's what I like about it. You, you actually walk right up to him. Start stabbing, you get the, the same arcing of lightning around, but my fire res is so incredibly low, I do have to take steps back here and there. Ral rune, I was hoping for a high rune here on the video. Too bad, I heard the rune drop, but... Out goes that group. Pick these up, and this, I can guarantee you already, I'm amped up, but watch me absolutely murdelate Diablo right here. I already know for a fact it's going to absolutely wreck Diablo because Charge Strike has always been so nasty. I mean, come on. For a boss killer, like, what is that even? What is that even? That is absolutely crazy. Goodbye, big dog. 
That, but that is how much this can wreck, even with the budget. Imagine getting those resistances up. Maybe you throw on a door star to get um, fire absorbed while you're in the cast sanctuary because there is a lot of fire. Um, you can you could get a lot more survivability that way. I don't have a dwarf star right here, but that is a good option to get rid of the stuff in the chaos sanctuary here. So if you like this build, if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe up, maybe even consider sharing this video somewhere. That would mega help out the channel if y'all wanted to do that. So hey, peace out, and don't forget, keep slaying.